Hey everybody, this is Dave here at Pulp Alley, and today we're going to play the final five episodes of The Spider's Web. I really like this old serial. This is the 1938 version from Columbia Pictures. Great, great old serial. Now, do you have an old serial that you'd like us to play? Do you have an old favorite that you'd like to share with us? Leave a comment down below and let us know. And while you're at it, please take a moment and show your support. Click that like and share and subscribe button and let's get to it. Here we go. The final five episodes of The Spider's Web. Merciless master criminal has directed the underworld in launching a murderous attack upon major industries of the country in an attempt to break down civilization and reduce industry to a shambles. Richard Wentworth, famous criminologist, and the spider, in reality Wentworth's other self, are making every attempt to locate the octopus and bring him to justice. by the death dealing ray gun and was sent crashing to earth in flames. He's getting out the flames with high speed. He's done it. The fire's out. Flying as its reward. Here's a part of the ray gun. Someone has removed the identifying marks. There's just a slim chance that I can trace it to the one who made it. What do you hope to accomplish? The solution I have here will bring out what remains of the lettering that was filed away. The name of the manufacturer is not entirely gone. The microscope should make it visible. Mason is our man. Either that or he'll have to account for this. Uh, 
night's work, Wentworth. I'll phone my office to have Mason picked up. I'm not quite ready to make an arrest. I want to make some measurements first. Do you find any calipers on the desk, Nita? No, Dick, they're not here. Oh, never mind. They're probably in the garden house. I'll send Jackson for them. Teoc's a gardener, a trader. Oh, wait a minute. That's not Teoc. Someone with a very clever disguise. I'll stop him. No, wait. You're not going to let him get away, are you? Yes. Just long enough to report what he's heard. But Dick, you will warn Mason. That's just what I want him to do. Yes? Went we figured out the name on that lever. And Commissioner Kirk was with him and... That'll do. Report on. The activist wants to talk to you. Yes, sir? Take the necessary steps to prevent this clue from being followed further. Understand? I understand, sir. Hey, get those rags off. We got a job to do. Any callers? No, sir. Oh, yes. A boy brought a note a few minutes ago. It was marked personal, so I put it on your desk. Thanks. Get hurt. Operator! Operator! Get me police headquarters! Drop that floor. Get your hat, Mason. You're going with us. Guilty, Sahib. Took his own life. No, no, warrior. He was shot. Look. Look there in his hand. Somebody get the police. The men who did this are still in the building. The spider must strike. But the police... No, no. Time is important. I'll get the guilty men for them. You stand by till they come. anyone out of the building. Spider. 
fighters had escaped. We've got all exits covered. Follow me. Two of them went in the other room, and, oh, and then there were shots and, and a crash. Can you describe these men? Wentworth. Hello, Commissioner. This is Mason's secretary. I know who she is, and I know who you are. You tricked me for the last time, Spider. Good heavens, Kirk, you don't still believe that, do you? It's no use bluffing, Wentworth. The Spider left his mark on two men out there. He can't get out of the building, and he's not trying, because he's right here. Spider got away from us, Commissioner. He used his web rope to swing clean onto the next roof. Well, that's that. But since you can't be on that roof and here at the same time, Oh, you will have to excuse me, Wentworth. This thing's driving me crazy. This sample of Chase's handwriting is the nearest to that in the death note, but obviously it's not the same. There's a distinct difference in the way the S and the Y is formed. You're right. Well, we have one more specimen of handwriting to check, and then we will have covered our list of suspects. Joseph Cranes, vice president in charge of construction of the CRNO Railroad. This is it. We don't need a machine for this. The formation of the letters is identical. Joseph Crane. Mm -hmm. It's perfect, isn't it? It's almost too perfect. You know, it could be a clever forgery. The octopus is much too smart to lay himself open to such an easy identification of his handwriting. I'm inclined to believe that the octopus deliberately forged Crane's style. But why? Well, that's quite simple. First, to divert attention from himself, and second, because he's planning an attack on Crane's interests. Let's call on Crane. A couple more contracts for your signature, Mr. Crane. All right, Carter, let me have them. Oh, hello, Commissioner. How are you, Edwards? Hello. Well, I hope you boys bring good news. Not so good, Crane. I'm sorry. You're under arrest. Under arrest? Well, what's the matter? What's the charge? You're suspected of being the octopus. The charge will be murder. The octopus? Are you mad? Wentworth, this is your work. Get your hat and don't talk. Anything you say may be held against you. Well, this is ridiculous. It's an outrage. Now, Carter, see that everything is left exactly as it is. I'll be back here in an hour. All right, gentlemen, I'm ready. Of course we knew it was a forgery. Your arrest was a measure for your own protection, as well as to get a line on what move the octopus is about to make. Well, I'm certainly relieved, gentlemen. I hope I can be of help. Crane, I've just been arrested as I planned. Get the men and go at once to the construction job. They'll be joined there by runners, and we'll follow orders. Howdy, Red Rose. I've been waiting for you. See that none of the workmen are left on the job. Have the men watch the construction office, and you pick up all communication. Now, the octopus always opens each of his attacks with a campaign of terrorization. So far, your railroads have been unmolested. However, you should warn every one of your construction foremen. Wait a minute. The new cutoff through Green Valley was open this morning. They're going to run the first train through it tonight. Let me use your phone. Certainly. Cadman speaking. Hello. Hello. Cadman speaking. This isn't Cadman. Who is this? Hello. Something's happened to Cadman. He was on the phone a moment ago and I heard the sound of a ball. Communicate with the state police. Crane, have that train stopped at once. All phone and telegraph communications are cut to the north. The radio. We can't break through. Some powerful station has the air force static. Catch your squad cars up at that Green Valley job as soon as you can. Hello. Hello. Strikes again? Right. Now you and Ram Singh get to the great crossing of Bolton Road and try to flag down that train. I'm going on to the construction camp at Green Valley.
train is due now. There she comes. Wait a minute. 39 reporting. Spider just broke through the cut. Spider just broke through the cut. It's the spider interfering again. And for the last time, we let him get into the blast area and take him and the road together. Come on. And in the next episode, you will see Richard Wentworth and Commissioner Kirk caught by the henchmen of the octopus. The octopus arch criminal wrecks a train carrying innocent victims. Richard Wentworth, as the spider, walks into a trap set by the octopus. Will he escape?
up with the wreck. I'm after two men who may be a clue to the madman behind it. He's Bradshaw. He works here. All right, stand over here. You know this one? Not my crew. Don't know him. I do. One of his names is Burke. Take him in the office and keep him there. You can help by talking. Get him in the office. I found a couple of men who may know something about the explosion. Let's see if we can make them talk. All right, men. All right, you boys, one outside. What were you doing here, Bert? Come on, talk if you want to keep out of jail. You're a two-time loser already. We can pin serious charges on you because there were lives lost in that wreck. You know what that means. I don't know nothing about the wreck. I wasn't even near it. The wreck was caused by an explosion. You were near that. I saw you. I was trying to get away from it. I didn't set it. Then who did? I don't know anything about the wreck or the blast. I was hired to guard the road and keep the people away. Who hired you? We did, now. What about it? Stay where you are and don't move. Hold it, officer. The commissioner's here. They can't talk much now, Dick. No. Looks like the octopus has won this round. I feel that we were very close to the octopus last night. He's becoming bolder. He's bound to overstep himself soon. I doubt that we'll catch him that way. He's as clever as he is ruthless. Yes? Chase, Mr. Green, to see you. Send them in. I think I have something that may interest you. Open that package, Commissioner. You'll find the hat and cape of the spider. It was found in the culvert last night, near the scene of the wreck. Who found it? My detectives. And uh, that isn't all they found, or saw. No? What else? They saw the spider go into a culvert. They started to go in after him, but before they could enter, another man came out. The opposite end of the culvert was blocked, so there was only one entrance, the one this man used. And they recognized him. Who is he? Richard Wentworth. Strange, isn't it, Wentworth, that on several occasions you were discovered in a place from which the spider had just left? Gentlemen, an accusation against me has been implied, but not made directly. I insist on one. In fact, out of fairness to myself, I demand that you make a direct accusation. Are you willing to swear out a warrant? Well, yes, of course. May I use your telephone to call my lawyer? Certainly. Hello, Jackson speaking. Hello, Jack. This is Wentworth speaking. Yes, yes, I'll hold the phone. I'm getting your finger tappings. Go on. Yes, yes, I'm about to be arrested. I want you to go down and make arrangements as to my bail and so on. I'm in Commissioner Kirk's office. Yes, call me back here, please. Yes, yes, Major. I got that. I'll attend to it right away. The Major's being held in Kirk's office. Get one of the cars. We're leaving at once. Kirk speaking. Yes? All right. Your lawyer says he'll meet us in Judge Condon's chambers. Gentlemen, at your service. Hold it! Just can't.
careless of me to leave this where it could be found. It won't happen again. Catch him! Catch him! A spider, of course. I thought you'd caught the spider, Mr. Chase. You still want to swear out that warrant against me? Of course he doesn't. I'm... Um, I'm very sorry, Mr. Wentworth. I, it was an honest mistake, motivated sincerely by a desire to help us all. But the evidence was really very strong against you. Hmm. Strong, but circumstantial. I hope when we catch the octopus, Mr. Chase, it won't be by circumstantial evidence. Well, what is our fair lady operative to report today? Plenty. But whether it means anything or not remains to be seen. I've been checking on our suspects, both at their homes and at their offices. And only one of them seems to be doing anything which might be considered suspicious. Which one is that? Mr. Chase. He's been receiving unknown men in conference, both at home and at his office, and holding many conversations over a private phone he recently had installed. Hmm. Kirk's having him watched by plain clothes men. I've reason to believe he's gone away several times without Kirk's men knowing. We'll have to do some checking about that. Good afternoon, Mr. Wentworth. Good afternoon. I'd like to see Mr. Chase, please. I'll tell him you're here. He doesn't answer, but I'm sure he's somewhere in the building. Well, I'll wait if you don't mind. It worked. This looks like his new phone. Then Mr. Chase has been kidnapped by the octopus. <laughs> it might look that way, but doesn't it seem strange that he had time to write this? Then you don't believe it. I'm sorry, Mr. Chase is not in the building. Well, call the police commissioner and tell him that Mr. Chase has disappeared. Disappeared? It looks as though Blinky McQuaid will have to take up the trail from here. Gorman got his orders to grab Chase right from the octopus himself. I know that, Blinky. What'd he do with him? Gorman's holding him in that old factory on North Street. If you ask me, it's another gag to try and trap the spider. He seems to get wind of everything that goes on. I hope he takes the bait. Right, Blinky. You and me both. Keep your eyes open. We expect the spider.
And in the next episode, you will see Richard Wentworth trapped in the hospital room by the paid killers of the octopus. The octopus strikes at innocent victims by throwing poison vapor firecrackers into a hospital room. Wentworth, as the spider attempting to rescue his bodyguard, Ram Singh, jumps into the den of the octopus henchman. Will he escape? into the underworld, a menace known as the octopus is trying to seize control of the key industries of the nation. The octopus follows this madman's dream with ruthless daring. Waging a desperate battle against the octopus, Police Commissioner Kirk enlisted the aid of Richard Wentworth, famous criminologist. Into the contest leaps Wentworth's other self, the spider, trying to bring law and order to a terrorized business world. He's been here. This way. As the spider was crossing on the wire, his enemies dropped him in midair by breaking the wire insulator. As the strands unraveled, the spider hurtled through space toward certain death below.
machine is turned on full force, sir. Right. Now the chase has been eliminated as a possible suspect. We find that our search now is down to three men. Gray, the banker, Gordon, head of the power company, and Frank, head of the broadcasting company. Now, Gray is a very powerful man in this city. And nevertheless, we must go on the assumption that he is the octopus and let him prove that he isn't. All right, I'll move him. Ray could easily be the octopus major. He has access to the cash in his banks. Hmm. Great. What happened, Jenkins? I don't know, sir. I found him at the door. Who brought him here? No one was with him, sir. Please. Why? Uh, please. Please don't talk. I, I can't stand sound. The vibration. Uh. Isn't there anything we can do for him? Jenkins, call the hospital. Yes, sir. Complain of sound vibration, huh? Hmm. Excuse your case. Chart, please. Hmm. Heartbeat rather faint. He should have a sedative to quiet him. His heart won't stand much more shock. And if sound excites him... Doctor, it's important that I talk to him. You may speak to him, but not above a whisper. This is number eight reporting. Wentworth with Gray now. He's going to question him. Air ought to be taken care of immediately. Keep me posted as to Wentworth's movements. You wait here. After I take care of Gray, we'll tackle Wentworth. The intern gave us the whole layout. Easy, man. Go over there. Man, eh? Yeah. We better grab him, Spike, and then you take him down to the chemical laboratory. Oh, buddy. Have your match? examination to satisfy myself about this. Mind if I go along? No, no, come on. Wentworth's in the examination room, end door to the left. I heard of a case like this once, Doctor, only it wasn't deliberate. Death was caused by the sudden slamming of a door. The police ought to be here pretty soon. That must be done now. If I don't get out of it, you'll never see that guy in the turban again. Ram Singh, where is he? You'd like to know, wouldn't you? Take him down to headquarters. We'll make you talk. Doc, where's your telephone? Right over there. Hello, this is Mr. Wentworth. Will you get my house, please? Hello, Jackson. I want you to get something and bring it down to headquarters. You'll find it down in the lab. Sit down. Right here, there's... Where did you get that? Hmm, you seem to recognize it. It's a sound vibrating machine, like you used on Gray. Let me out of here. You know, Gorman, this machine has a good many uses. It might make you talk. You can't do that to me. Oh, no, you did it to Gray. Don't turn it on. I'll talk. All right. 
Where did they take Ram Singh? I don't know. I don't intend wasting time. Turn it off! Turn it off! Oh, no. We're going to leave you alone with it for a while. Come on, Jackson. Mr. Gorman isn't in the talkative mood. I'll tell you. Turn that thing off! Where is Ram Singh? He's at 10 West 4th Street, the chemical laboratory. If you're lying, Gorman, you'll get worse than this. The police will take care of you. All right, Jackson. No doubt the house will have some of the octopuses men there, Major. I expect that. Then the spider must strike again, huh? For Ram Singh's sake. Right. What were the to to discourage? But with you as the next victim he finds on his doorstep, he may stop interfering with the octopus. Hey, oh, what are we wasting time for, Trigger? Throw the mug in the shower room. Sure. It'll be good for his health. Come on, we're going to give him a warm bath. Take it easy, Mick. Let me out of your bed again. Jackson's missing, and we're still up against the stone wall. Not a clue. Now, I called you all here to discuss the plan. Ramsing and I have a description of the men we think kidnapped Jackson, and... Mr. Wentworth's home. For just a minute, Mr. Kirk. Yes, Kirk, what's up? This may be a lead, though it's rather vague. The council wants me to send a squad to the bus terminal to investigate the activities the public has been complaining about. Thanks, Kirk. I'll check on it right away. The men are going to the terminal late tonight? All right. Goodbye. The boys tapped Kirk's call to Wentworth. The commissioner is sending a squad of cops to the terminal tonight to investigate. Very interesting. Commissioner Kirk's policemen will receive a warm welcome. What will we do with Jackson, sir? All in prisoner. Round trip ticket for Lincoln Junction. Sorry, but the terminal's closed for the night. Oh, well, you're not supposed to close until... You heard what he said. They're out. Who are you? What's the meaning of this? If you're going to get out or do I have to throw you out? I haven't heard about the things that go on in this terminal. Now I'm sure of it. Now that you are sure, get out while you're still healthy. I'll report this to the police. All right, you guys. You've got your instructions.
episode, you will see the spider escape the henchman of the octopus only to run into the police. The octopus, in order to strike at Richard Wentworth, captures Nita Van Sloan. Richard Wentworth, as the spider, trapped by the henchman of the octopus. Will he escape? is a man known as the Octopus, one of the most vicious criminals of all time. In an effort to stamp out the rising wave of crime, Police Commissioner Kirk has enlisted the aid of Richard Wentworth, famous criminologist. The spider, Richard Wentworth, for the South, leaps into the bitterly fought battle. His guns trained mercilessly on the forces of the Octopus. to prevent the attack. Finding himself trapped on a narrow window ledge, he was struck by a giant rock and tackled. Set our plans. Spider. Boss ain't gonna like that. Come on inside. Turn that car around. I might have to get out of here in a hurry. First the spider busts up the terminal party. Then when we go after the newspaper, he knocks us over. Between the spider and Wentworth, the octopus is fighting tough odds. Wentworth won't bother us. We got his man Jackson with a shot of that firecracker poison. The boss is holding him prisoner someplace. Why that guy's been unconscious for hours. Ah, 
I've got to get out of here. Where are you going? <laughs> so I got orders to report the waterworks on 16th Street to get the layout. The waterworks? Yeah. Octopus has given orders to blow up the works and cut off the water supply. Hmm. Maybe I'd better report to the octopus and get my orders. I'm sure. How did he get in there? I don't know, sir. Nobody saw him come in. Then I must assume that he heard too much. Report to me immediately. This forces my hand for the moment. I must work fast. I am going to see that Mr. Worthless does not escape this time. I'll use two stones to kill one bird.
Jenkins. Jenkins, how did they get in here? Uh, what happened? That's what I'm trying to find out. I saw Jackson. That doesn't sound like Jackson. He'd never ask me to stop fighting crime for his sake. Wait a minute. Hmm. That's not Jackson's regular style. It's written with his left hand. He's warning me to stay away. It's a trap with Jackson as the bait. Well, we know he's alive, though we don't know for how long. I'll get an antidote ready. He may be in a coma when we find him. Put a drop of that snake poison on a slide, will you? Don't! Don't touch that. Why not? There's high explosives in those tubes. Uh, we put them there. <laughs> Lamb, phone Kirk and tell him to pick up these men. I'll be down at his office soon. Cheers, Jenkins. If I'm right, <coughs> if I'm right, this will do the trick. <coughs> I've got it. Now I remember that white paper. I saw it used in Rangoon. The poison of the Ringles Cobra. Snake poison, but how? Huh? Well, this particular Cobra doesn't bite its victims. It sprays its poison in a vapor. But nothing sprayed this poison, sir. Ah, you're wrong there. The explosion of the firecracker released the gas from a grass vial and sprayed it in areas as far as 12 feet. I hope I can get to Jackson in time to administer this antidote. Commissioner says he'll take care of these men immediately, Sahib. Good. If Nita phones, tell her I'll contact her soon. I'll be at Kirk's office. Commissioner Kirk's office calling. Mr. Wentworth asked me to call and ask you if you can come down to headquarters immediately. We'll have a taxi call for you. Certainly. I'll be ready in a minute. Thank you. Mr. Wentworth just phoned Ram Singh. I'm to meet him at Commissioner Kirk's office. Are there any messages for him? No, no other messages. Goodbye, ma'am, Sahib. Goodbye. Miss Van Sloan? Yes. Did Mr. Wentworth send you here? Yes, ma'am. Thank you. brings you gentlemen here so early this morning. Well, we all received quite a scare from that bus terminal business. Undoubtedly the octopus again. I understand that the spider did a good job in helping to prevent the massacre of the policemen. <laughs> newspapers make a hero of him. I'm inclined to agree with the newspapers. As far as the police are concerned, he's still an outlaw. Have you had any word about Jackson? Yes. Uh, where is Jackson? And uh, what about that note from him? Oh, yes. I was just going to tell you about that. I don't know how Jackson got this to me, but I'm going to follow through on it at once. I'm sure with the fine work the police have done, it won't be hard to find Jackson. I have a conference in a half hour, gentlemen. I must be at my desk. You're making progress. Keep up the good work. Commissioner, if I can be of any further help, why, please let me know. Cook, I didn't want to scare those men, but I found out there's going to be an attempt to blow up the city's waterworks tonight. The waterworks? Yes. And that note from Jackson is a trap. But you said you were going to follow through on it. I am. It's the only lead I have. But you can't do it alone. Let me send my men. No, it may be an attempt to draw us away from the waterworks. You've got to detail men to cover those areas. And besides, a raid on the place where they're holding Jackson would be too obvious. In working alone, Kirk, I have one advantage. The octopus doesn't know I'm aware of his trap. I shall step into it deliberately, but prepared. I'll send a squad of men to each water plant immediately. Good. I'll see you later. Wentworth is going to try to rescue Jackson led on by my note. One of you will be disguised as Jackson. And when Wentworth arrives, we will be ready for him. This time, Richard Wentworth does not escape. Jackson, hello, sir. Has Nita called? 
Yes, Sahib. She said she was going to meet you at headquarters, that you had called her. At headquarters? I didn't call. There's no answer. They've got Jackson and Anita now. The spider must strike, even though he steps into the trap of the octopus. As the prophet said, it take us more than honey to catch the bee. Wait here until I call. Ram, come with me. We can make the old gradstone house by dusk. Now listen, everybody. Wentworth will be here any minute. And you, remember, you're supposed to be Jackson stretched out on that couch. Hurry, Ram Singh, step on it. You men stay in guard outside the house to make it look better when Wentworth gets here. And don't try to shoot it out with him, because he's too fast on the drawer. Let him get into the house. The minute he gets over to that couch, we'll have him. Cut your motor and coast in. Wait here and be ready to start quickly. as Blinky McQuaid finds himself trapped by the paid killers of the octopus. The spider defies death by running up a 60-foot ladder with the police after him. The spider and the octopus face to face. Who is the victor? Who is the octopus? mysterious master criminal has led the underworld in attacking the major industries of the country. Police Commissioner Kirk enlisted the aid of Richard Wentworth, famous criminologist, to stem the rising tide of chaos and destruction. Into this fight against the wave of crime stepped Wentworth of the South, the Spider. of the capture of Nita Van Sloan and Jackson disguised himself as the spider and went to the house where his aides were held captive. The spider made a stealthy entrance into a dimly lighted room. There he saw a man whom he took to be Jackson lying on a couch. Rushing towards him, the spider stepped on the trap door and was pitched headlong into the basement. Yeah. 
evening, Mr. Jackson. This is merely a sample of what will happen to both of you. Richard Wentworth must cease interfering with my plans, even if I have to destroy everything he loves in order to reach you. You wouldn't dare do that. Dare? What are your two lives or 10,000 lives compared to the success of my plans? You could torture us from now to doomsday and you'd get nothing out of us. It may interest you both to know that Richard Wentworth has already walked into a trap. The market is pressure. Wentworth did not come. The spider came. The spider seems to hover over Wentworth like a guardian angel. But neither of them will escape me. Where are the men you took with you? The dead. The spider. Your failure is lessened by the fact that it was the spider who escaped you. You are dismissed. No. Not that way. Through that door. placed my hand on the man who calls himself the Octopus. He was in the commissioner's office this morning, and he overplayed his hand. But I've got to face him in his lair. Catch him in the character of the Octopus. You know the Octopus? I think I do. Well, why don't we go get it? First, because an arrest at this time would seal the death warrant of Nita and Jackson. Second, because I need absolute proof. Now, it might be found in the man's office, and Blinky McQuaid is just the fellow to look for. Can't see very well. Okay, here we go, Blinky. Why would a man lock a bulb like that in his safe? Oh, this is no ordinary bulb, Jenkins. This is what is known as a deflection tube, designed for specialized radios. There are very few of them in use, and they have to be installed by an expert. I'm waiting now for Wilson of General Radio to call and give me some information. The Sahib might test out the television set that was installed on the telephone today. Yeah, that's an idea. Wilson should have something by now. I'll call him. Yes, Wilson. What have you got for me? We've only installed three tube sets in the city. Only three installed in the city, huh? And there's a special installation at 413 First Avenue on the sixth floor, some kind of a private technical school. 413 First Avenue. You installed it there? Yes, months ago. All right, thanks, old man. You're welcome. Good night. Good night. This is Richard Wentworth speaking. I am delivering my final warning. Any further interference on your part will jeopardize the lives of my prisoners. You seem to have no fear of phoning me. Fear? Of you? That you should have fear of me? Very courageous, Mr. Octopus. It calls for a personal visit to you. You'll have to know me first to find me. And don't forget, my prisoners. Right. Find him, monster? There's a chance. He spoke from someplace that's within the radius of a mile from here. 
Get me the map of the city. I'll draw a circle with a radius of one mile using our place as a center. Uh -huh. Well, your line cuts the intersection of 1st Avenue and 4th Street. Right. That must be the place where Wilson said the tube was installed. Then let us attack, Boxer. Steady, warrior. We've got to look the place over and plan our action. Wait, ma'am. The octopus won't leave the place unguarded. The man on the door is trying to be a lookout. You go in, Sahib. I'll take care of him. Now, but quietly, warrior. There must be no alarm. Wait here, Jenkins. Have you found the place? No, but there's something peculiar here. There's a complete wing of the building that seems to have no entrance. Then that's where the beast hides, Sahib. We must get to him if we have to break through solid walls. I have a better idea than that. Let's get back to the car. Get me some smoke pots, Jenkins. Yes, sir.
Yes, with your help. You were a little too sure of yourself on numerous occasions. I must have been blind not to know you sooner. But when you mentioned that note in Commissioner Kirk's office, you disclosed knowledge that only the octopus could have. So you are Richard Wentworth. Too late for that knowledge to be of any value to you now. It's never too late. Nothing can change my destiny. out of here quickly and remember you know nothing of what happened yes sir hello Kirk what's up the spiders in the building he's somewhere upstairs say what are you doing here well, I phoned your office and they told me come on all right all right don't touch anything man there's no doubt that this is the den of the octopus you're right Wentworth and that must be the fiend himself Chase. So that's why the spider came here. It's odd, Wentworth, that you always appear where the spider has left his mark. I'll grant you that, Kirk. But you'll have to admit that the spider did us both a good turn today. Now, this time I really mean it, Nita. We're going to get started on our honeymoon today. Then the spider is dead? No, not dead. Shall we say, just uh, retired for the time being? I hope it's a permanent retirement. 